Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, Final Fantasy Randomizer fan! Welcome to this match of the Final Fantasy Randomizer 2023 Winter or Winter Tournament, what normally or what formerly was known as the Spring Tournament. I am Hate Thirteenth, joined in the booth by Forsaken tonight. With uh, Hello, everybody, yeah, and we got Darkmoon doing the restream and Wild Ham tracking for us. Uh, so tonight we've got Pod G, the Joker Pod. We've got Jesus the Frog versus Life Reboot. And in about eight minutes before the seed was rolled, they decided, you know what, screw it, let's go with four forced. This is what we got. So what do you think their strategy is going to be based off these parties? Run and open chests, and probably they're going to be hoping for a black belt somewhere. I'm hoping no black belts show up because I don't like black belts. Um, I'm with you entirely on that. Yep. End game depends upon how the uh, Vorpal rolls because the Vorpal is an incentivized item in this, and there is an incentivized ribbon as well, so they can pick that up. If they can pick up a saber bonk and then a ruse stick or a defense sword, right there's their stuff, right? Uh, their end game right there. Uh, that being said, it also depends upon what fiends they go for. That is very true. Yeah, this flag set, this spring, spring, nay, winter tournament. Winter tournament. Yeah, and I'm going to be saying spring tournament, I don't know, probably too much. Um, yes, but for this winter tournament, these first pod, or the pod flags, only two orbs are required. So you go in, you find a fiend that you can get to, i.e. you find a rod if you're really desperate, or oxyale or chiming cube. You go in, you kill a fiend. Then you probably go to Volcano and kill the second fiend because carry everybody kills carry in these flags. Almost everybody kills carry in these flags. And you're good to go. Now, the other thing to consider here, too, is if I'm not mistaken, the scaling is a bit different. I believe it's 80% to 180% in this uh, flag set. Yeah, it's fairly light scaling. It's not too punishing, but Topher is still enough to kind of screw with you if you go in too low. Yeah. And uh, just noticed in chat that we also actually hadn't brought up the blur sings yet. So the yeah, thief... That too. Yeah, Thief starts off with 40 hit points, 2 M death, or 10 M death, but can only wear red wizard armor upon promotion. The fighter, 40 vitality, 20 strength, minus 1 M death per level. So that fighter is going to turn into a gigantic wall of meat real, real quick. And the black mage has warp granted to him, so it'll have two charges of warp at level 8, plus 10 strength, and no fire 3. So, blursings aren't too bad. Uh, we'll cover any other blursings if uh, if they are needed, i.e. if they pick up something else. Now, it's going to be interesting trying to find out if they're going to use their fighter as their front line or if they're going to use the thief as their front line because with that negative one end up per level, that fighter is going to be hurting until they get something to shore it up. Yeah, well, that's fine. Uh, I generally would put the thief up front just because you've got the better chance to get preemptive strikes with the thief up front. You're less likely to get jumped. Agility is a wonderful thing, or agility and luck, I should say, are wonderful things for him. Um, yeah. I'd, I would still put the fighter as the second row just because, you know, that still has a chance to keep the mage from getting bodied. All right, and we are off. Looks like we started with a Bane Sword. White magic is. Garbage. Black magic is lightning three and ice two. Not too bad. Oh. We've got pro rings for sale and copper Cheerios. So they've at least got a sweeper at the start. Could be better, could be worse. Heels, peers, and softs. So far, no idea what the housing market look like. looks like. Yep. But these, they're holding hands so far through this. But, gee, I know, almost in lockstep. Got a little bit of a party swap over there on uh, Jesus' side. Probably moving that fighter up to slot two as opposed to slot three. All right. <laughs> Lorge Dagger, yay, the weapon that the thief can, or 
in this case, the fighter gets on Jesus Frog's side. Yeah. Pocket money, pocket money. You know, I would almost reset out of those. Yeah. Oh, but then again, that warp life reboot, making good use of that too. Looks like Jesus the Frog grabbing a little extra bubbles early. Yeah. So, I generally don't attack anything that's not forced uh, before Garland, just because I. Th there, time, 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 gotta go. Alright, we gotta go. Out of the castle. I'm thinking we're probably going to see a swing up by Matoya to check out the chests there. Oh, no. Guess not. Thank you, Provoca. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you've got the Bane Sword. I can understand that. Now, I thought I heard something about the Dicky check is on. Okay. No. No, no, no. The, uh, <clears throat> the uh, buff pirate's flag is not on, so that's... Oh, pirates. Okay. Pirates are safe. All right, Matoya, tent, heal, and uh, 2,600 bucks. Not enough to keep Jesus the Frog from resetting right out of it, though. Hey, we can pick that up on our way over to um, Provoca. <laughs> yep. And we got and... the ruby out of the uh, pirates. All right, so I'm wondering if we're going to see either of the runners do the crazy ice dive at this point, but given that they've got the ship... Ooh. All right, that chain plus five is pretty nice, though. That is, and I think the thief can wear that. No, no, the fighter can wear that. Yeah. Yeah, fighter can put her on right now. After promotion, the thief will be able to wear it. But for now, yeah, not so much. Houses twelve twenty one, a little on the costly side, but not as much as vanilla. Well, let's see what spells we have. Ooh. Level two fade. <clears throat> and nobody to use them. And level 2 black is, um, yeah, sleep and stun and fire. Uh, and Saber plus 2, that's a perfectly serviceable weapon for those two uh, melee swings. Now, my thought process is that they're checking the white magic so they know when they promote what they can get on their knight. Yeah. But at the same time, it's kind of funny because they look at it and they're like, oh, well, that's no good. Yeah, and uh, to answer the question in chat, uh, Fade in slot 2, at level 2, all of the white magic is learnable by the knight and the red mage. Level 2 is the giving level. Alright, and it looks like both parties are skipping ice. I can understand it. Right, looks like Jesus the Frog heading right on in to see what the kindly old king has for him. And I could not see it because it was too quick. Yep. Ah, uh, looks like the herb. herb. And pickles and beer? Uh, this was a four forced. All right, so we got some pretty linear uh, direction at this point, which honestly, when you start off with a ship as one of the two items, it, yeah, it kind of is expected almost, as long as you've yes. got like the ship and something, one other thing that's useful. All right, and it looks like the herb is turning into the floater. Oh my. All right, well, these guys are gonna be up in the air real quick today. Yeah. And I just now realized that uh, the timer was not started on this one. Uh oh. It's noticed, uh, I didn't even notice that. I was watching Jesus walk into the Black Magic Shop, see um, Temper, and then walk back out, and then walk back in and be like, oh, wait, now I need to buy that. <laughs> it looks like Life Reboot is going over to grab the floater right away. Does make sense. 
All right, there we go. Now it looks like the timer started. Uh, I'm not sure which one of you two, uh, Wild Timer Darkmoon, got that, but thank you. That'll be really interesting to see where they go because, <laughs> excuse me, at the Hell Floater, they can't really go to Gaia because they don't have anything to turn there. Yeah, um, they do have that ruby though, and the Titan's okay. Trove is incentivized, so. And then there's also Sarda in that area, so. That's true. And then they also have the uh, Canaria Islands are open too. Yeah. So. Well, especially with the Dragon's Horde, you just pop on in, you can run in there and grab that, and I don't know what, but something on the Cobra, uh, Cobra Scorp Scorpion group had something that turned, uh, turned Jesus of Fighter into a statue. Oh, the slab. One of the key items you really don't like to see early. Well, they're heading over to see the uh, Titan. They can drop it off on their way, at least. Yeah, all right. So we got level six warp, level six. Uh, I saw something else in there that looked good, and I just don't even remember what it was at this point. It wasn't good enough to me memorize. Brack, thank you, Wildem. They are literally running hand in hand just about. Wait. All right. See where Jesus is gonna go. I expect him to follow a very, a very similar path to Life Reboot at this point, though he might opt to swing by. Wow. Oh, he okay. Never mind. Deviations. He's going to ice first, and we've got a chime in the Titan's closet. And let's I see what he's on the cube, and he's got another dungeon opened up that he could use for one of his two. Yeah. All right, and we've got the raw odd, which yes, that does open up Earth, but it's Earth Earth. Cave, <laughs> it, Yeah, it's not. It's not as good as either Sea Shrine or Sky Palace, in my opinion. Uh, just because you can't do as much of a walking grind with it. Yeah, and item density. I'm pretty sure that both Sea and Sky have more chests in them, don't they? Oh my, yes. Sky has 33 chests, and that's just in Sky Palace itself. That's excluding the 18 chests in Mirage Tower. Yeah. So it will be interesting to see which two orbs each of these people, uh, each of these runners decide to light. I would be surprised if they don't light the fire orb. <laughs> Ooh, opal armor. Opal armor minus three, but opal armor. If nothing else, it's money. Now, I'm wondering if Jesus the Frog realizes he had warp. Well, he was checking that spike tile over on that one, I'm okay. thinking. Oh, yeah. Because he's swinging around the back here, probably going to hit this... Yeah, hit this chest, drop down, then warp back up. Yeah. All right. Because I noticed he went oh. over there and then he opened the chest while he was there, but oh, no, he didn't warp back up. Okay. Going to check more spike tiles, I'm guessing. Yeah. Checking the chests. Gets a gold Cheerio plus one, not too shabby. Life is over there at, um... The Fane, probably gonna hit the Superstore after this, is my guess. Alright, and getting the cube out of it. He is oh. the life Kia. We've got the Lefanish body blockers. <laughs> oh, Fire 3, which that Black Mage can't learn. Got yeah, Rub Fire 2, Quad X, and Sleep. Yeah, Jesus is. Fast at five. Walking out? Huh. I have to you wonder what. Give up on it? No, I'm. I don't think he's given up on it. I think he probably wants to. Ah, okay. Get some cash, get some houses and some heels. 
I'm wondering if he's going to go back in there, finish checking the spike tiles, and maybe start grinding a little, or try to. I'm not sure. I mean, there was a couple good things in there. I'm pretty sure there was a, a blue dragon in there. Yeah, there was the blue dragon on what is normally the frost dragon tile. <laughs> and Life Reboot joining us also in the ice cave. That fighter has over 400 hit points already on life or on Jesus' side. Just a <laughs> chunky, chunky meat wall. Well, life reboot is definitely catching up to him, I can say that much. Yeah. The encounter table is kind of annoying on this one, though. Ugh. I also wonder if Jesus the Frog may have used both of his warp charges and did not think to hit the inn on his way out of Crescent Lake. I didn't notice. I could be entirely wrong on that. I mean, that's a possibility. Ooh, sea snakes have trance. <laughs> Alright, just oh, brought out that crystal and is on his way out. It was right, the uh, it was a crystal. Yeah. Okay. And life reboot is whooping back up to get his crystal. And is he going to stay or is he going to get out of there? It looks like he's probably gonna check some of the spike tiles at least. Mm-hmm. So give Jesus the Frog a little bit of time to catch up. Yeah, I'm gonna go chat Matoy out, see what she's got. Survey says Oxdale, all right. So Ice Cave, kind of optional. Uh, though, being yeah, boy. That said, but that means that uh, Jesus the Frog doesn't have to worry about turning that slab in. Right, and he's already got two dungeons he can go choose both of those for his, you know, go mode. Yep. Now, mind you, Life Reboot after this will have three dungeons to choose from, but either way. Yeah, uh, though both runners still do need to find the loot and the key. Which, at this point, I'm thinking we've got, because we've got the shop item we haven't seen, we've got the waterfall item, we've got ordeals, and we have the Excuse marsh. me. Marsh. Uh, Cardia Islands and Marsh, yes. <laughs> Nobody's gone to Marsh yet. They've just, like, completely ignored it. Uh, is the castle on, too? Uh, oh, yes, and Corneria Castle. Yeah, so we still have quite a few checks for them left, so it'll be interesting to see what they're going to go about doing. Ooh, and it looks like Life Reboot picked up a uh, defense sword on there, so that's one section of the you know end game, end game completion thing. Mm -hmm. And just got found over on Jesus' side. Okay. Oh, and apparently it is pronounced Jesus the Frog. Uh, so. Oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. But yeah, no, I've been all, I've been wrong on that one too. So. <laughs> I was just trying to remember off the um, stuff in Derby because he was in the last one. I'm pretty sure we were. <laughs> Either way, we can ask when he comes in on the end. Alright, Life Reboot about to get his Oxyale. Alright, level 5 magic. We've got Warp. We've got Warp or Warp Slot Newt. We got Lock 2 and Fast. Level 5 is. Pretty stocked, but ugh. Kinda hate seeing the good spells at level five, especially that warp slot nuke. Yeah. Hey, looks like All right. Asus is going to Earth. Check out the spike tiles. Uh, garbage gargoyles. And life is going for level four still? Or I, uh, item check. 
Yeah, he's uh, hunting down, trying to hunt down the vendor item and also picking up some cabins and tents. Yeah. Well, uh, Jesus looks like he's pushing it. Is he actually going to die of this one as one of his dungeons? Looks like he may very well be going for Lich. Which, you know, I mean, it's... It is a perfectly viable play. I am not a fan of the Earth Cave play just because... Well, like I said earlier, not as good XP for the walking grind. Right. And a lot of the chests are a little spread out, so... Yeah. Alright, so we got Frost Dude. Giant for Wolves on the Spike Tile there. Opal Zero plus five, though. We got Life Reboot walking into the uh, bottom floor of Marsh right now. See if he's gonna pull anything good out of there. I believe we have better treasure loot. What does that uh, mean? I don't think we actually have the better trap treasure on. Uh, let me verify on those flags, though. It's honestly, I... oh, nope, we do have better trap treasure. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I've been running these I don't know how long, and I just don't remember the little things like that. Yeah. I I remember Fizzle was talking about it the uh, game before this one. Hmm. So I, one of the things I was like, oh, I didn't realize that was on either. Oh, and we got a canal out of Marsh. Yeah, well, it's extra really XP. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, we're in Life Reboot's shoes, though. Uh, okay, it looks like he's checking out the last of the treasures here, but I would probably be resetting out right about now. Mm, yeah. Just because it's you didn't find anything that was worth keeping. Though you do have the two Grathis Warp charges, so there is that. At least now we know there is nothing good in Marsh. Yep. All right. It looks like we got a Black Mage hiding behind Lich. Not sure if we'll see either of the runners pick that up or if we will uh, stick with the three-man party and get the XP focused on a bit more. Okay, so this is buffing up his fighter. All right. And the Life Reboot going to check Underhill, being disappointed by him. So he goes to see um, Bahamut. See if he's got anything good there. Ooh. Fighter is asleep over on Jesus' side. Yeah, sleep isn't that bad, though. You woke up. Alright, do we have anything of worth in the horde? Survey says. <laughs> There's your promotion. <laughs> Congratulations. You checked the chest right behind me. Here's promotion. Yay! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, I low-key love when Muhammad has the tail behind him. It's just kind of funny. It's like, oh yes, I need you to go find me this tail. I put it in a chest and I don't remember where I put it. Yeah, it's... Oh, and it looks like Jesus the Frog swapped out his fighter for a second Black Mage. Really? Yeah. I saw he took the Black Mage, but I didn't see what position he took him in. Oh no, he took all- uh, Oh, he did? Okay, I- Yeah, he took all of them, so... Okay, I missed that then. Well, he's but about he to go in- and... Mars. <laughs> yeah, he's about to go in and be disappointed by the canal. And the lack of any good spike tile. see here of anything decent that I can use there. Not particularly decent weapon and armor choices for life reboot yet. Yeah, but it looks like he's heading over to ordeals now. Yeah. There's well, a couple it's... good checks there, so... Yeah, and it's gonna be the key or something that leads to the key or the loot, because, you know, we've got the, uh, we have the waterfall still as well. Yeah, we we'll... have. 
Or it could also yeah. be, you know, leading the Vorpal. That is true, right? Because I know we have the waterfall and the castle left. Yeah. And do we have Thief lockpicking on in these? We do not. Uh, even if we did, though, it uh, wouldn't matter. The logic doesn't check for Thief lockpicking. Well, I was just checking to see, because usually we have it set to level 15, so... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, for this tournament, Thief lockpicking is off. Ooh. He's doing a little bit of damage over on uh, the Sparks side. Yeah, it looks like he saw the canal and was like, you know what? Nah, I'm out, fam. Right, let's see if there's anything good for life reboot. Yeah. And yeah, I, I'm generally not a fan of the Vorpal, but, you know, given that that's what we've got in this flag, I, I'll i use it. I won't be happy about it, but I'll use it if I have to. Okay, it's a plus four. That is that is a perfectly viable <laughs> weapon. I, we're trying to figure out, I'm pretty sure Life Reboot started with... No, wait, no, that is the fight. Okay, it just looked like two ninjas on this side for a minute. I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, he just tossed his fighter up front. The colors blend really well. But no, Vorpal plus four, that is a perfectly viable weapon. Uh, you still want to kind of want to find a power bonk for it, but you know. Now realized we haven't found the adamant or the TNT either, so that's going to be a uh, part of a fetch quest chain. Oh, that's true. What did he end up pulling out of life reboot? Uh, what did end yeah life reboot end up pulling out of there? He pulled the vorpal. Well, oh, that's right. Yeah. So then, so we've got the ribbon. We've got the loot. We've got the key. We have the <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, well, the vendor item is going to be one of them. That's got to be right. a guy at this point, or Onrak, Gaia or Onrak. Yeah, uh, we haven't been Onrak yet. Yeah. All right, so Onrak has the vendor item. Yeah, so that means that Waterfall is definitely going to lead to probably a fetch quest. Yeah. Or, you know, the Onrak continent is going to start you on a fetch quest. Right, and I'm willing to bet money that probably uh, Castle is also going to be the other fe uh, fe fe quest. Let's see here. Well, we've got to get. All right, so Onrak's going to have one part of the fetch quest. Uh, it will depend upon what the robot gives us. If the robot gives us this terminal item then, yeah, then it's going to be fetch quest for the rest of the way on or starting with Onrak, in which case it would probably be like, if we get the key that is a necessary item, but not a terminal item. Right. Which means we'll have to go to castle to get the last item checked. Unless, unless the castle is holding on to the ribbon, which it's a, it's a nice to have, it is not necessary. That is true, yep. Alright, and Jesus is grabbing his barpel now. 32, 37, 72. Still a good, it, it's a good sword for it. I would still take a katana plus three over that for the ninja. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'd even take a katana plus two over that. Maybe even a neutral katana now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not negative, honestly. Um, as long as it's no worse than a negative one katana, that's it, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, it, at plus four, I think a katana plus one has the equivalent of the crit rating on it. It looks like Jesus is taking some time to chew on some golems. Ooh, big hit to the uh, Black Mage. Uh, he's fine. He's got 38 hit points more than is necessary. <laughs> this is fine.
Alright, so we're gonna be seeing here real soon what the robot actually is holding on to. <laughs> Just notice the Paralisks cast Afer as Life Reboot had casted Fire on them that round and did, you know, tickle damage. Wow, Jerkbirds are Jerkbirds tonight! Yeah. Like, A for a waste of time, Lightning 2 just to do some annoying damage, and then Cure 4. Ooh, wrong eyeball. <laughs> we got the adamant here. Alright. All right. Okay, nice. negative 1. And pocket change. Yeah, this is not a good waterfall, except for that uh, adamant being, well, probably necessary. Ooh, I just realized he can't warp out. Yep. And Jesus the Frog is actually going to be able to make use of the Superstore since he promoted before getting here. And he now has both items needed in order to get into uh, Tia. Yep. Alright, well, the knight gets to learn Ruse. Yay. Fade. And heal too. Yeah, you know, where was Saber at? I don't even think I looked for that. I don't know. We'll find that out real soon, though. I was like, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to go for that temper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Three temper casters, though, is pretty good to have. Okay, so right. Saber is not ninja learnable. Out of the realm for nuke and fast, but yep. Yeah, that's what the black mages are for. Well, nuke fast, and that lock too, also kind of hand or kind of nice. <laughs> oh man, are we gonna see some Brack strats tonight? Oh, I, I would not be so shocked to see Brack on Tia Kraken. Okay, so Saber is level 7 or 8. Fun! <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a good thing we didn't need that spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Saber, bah, who needs that? And I'm guessing Life Reboot stopped by Onrek to pick up the vendor item. I just did not see what it was because I blinked and was also paying attention to uh, <laughs> what Jesus was doing. I did exactly the same thing. Um... Alright, looks like Life Reboot's going in for the Volcano Dive. Probably gonna swing in there, hit up the Armory and Guardian Marcus, letting us know that the TNT was the vendor item. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And then, yeah, it could be the Ribbon, the Key, or the Loot now. In the Castle. And the other two items are in Dwarf, so... Yeah, we're gonna get the key from one of the dwarves. If we get the ribbon from the other one, then we know the loot's in the castle, else it's, well, the other way around. Yeah, but at, with the fighter the way he is, that ribbon's almost like a, a must at this point. I mean, if you know where it is, I mean, do you go for it or do you just say screw it and keep going? Uh, in the instance, if I were Jesus the Frog and if I find a ribbon in the sky, then I would fade the incentivized ribbon. Uh, in life reboot situation, unless I find another ribbon, I would grab the uh, grab the ribbon. Basically, I want to have at least one ribbon. Right. Looks like he's deciding to just feed on the zombie D's. I mean, it's not a bad little grind tile. Yeah. It's not the best, it's not the worst. You know, still getting 3,000 experience points per zombie or per dragon on each character. It will be interesting to see how far he takes it. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm thinking he'll probably take it to five or six hits on that uh, fighter. Probably five hits, because he's at four hits already. We're watching cases the frog go through. We're on right now. Blaze cockatrices. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if there was a life spell at low level, was there? And there was not a life spell that was learnable. Ooh. Yeah. So I was gonna check the plus or minus, or greater than or less than? Ooh, Age of Shield plus five, that's... Well, it's poison protection. Aside from that, oh, Opal Cheerio. All right, that's that's the armor for the or for the uh, ninja. Yeah, but what do you do at this point? You got two of your part down. Do you run back or do you keep going forward? Looks like Jesus is walking out. Probably gonna go res people. I am a bit on the mad side and would probably just keep charging forward and <laughs> hoping for something to help me get through, but. Uh... Uh, yeah, would probably also lose. <laughs> don't listen to what Donnie Don't does, kids. Right? Everybody loves running uh, Tia twice. Well, you know, I'm just used to running small parties. Oh, and going to Gaia to resurrect, which is the worst place to go for a clinic. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't the clinic all the way in the farthest corner? <laughs> and we got Saber and Bane at level 8. Oh look, there's where the store used to be. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that the devs have just put a graveyard there. You'd think they'd be nice enough to just move the um, resurrection house to where the store used to be, and then put the graveyard in the back, but you know. Nah, 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 I like the graveyard taking over where the store is. All right, On the man. fallen heroes. Looks like life reboot is done. He's got his ninja at 460 hit one hit, hit points. His knight at 921. <laughs> Holy crap! Chonky knight is chonky. Hey, Katana oh, plus five. Nice. Hot damn. Roostick. Now, do you think he's looking for a good weapon for that fighter? The Vorpal plus four, I would... I That is a fine enough weapon. Uh, he's given the bruise stick to the ninja, and he's opting not to check the spike tile. Or not the spike tile, but the treasure chest behind it. And yes, Pickles and Beard, the, the fighter had a plus 40 vitality bonus to start. So, yeah, it was gonna be chonky. You know, going in with a Katana plus five and a Vorpal plus four and all of the levels, I almost feel kind of bad for Carrie. Almost. This may be a one-sided slaughter. Yep. Asus check my little chest up in the sky. Seems he makes the same or does the same thing that I do when I don't mean to, which is check the side with fours instead of five, because I'm just used to going to the left. A couple of fighters, though. This is some good XP. God, that fighter is just... <laughs> just, just meaty. Holy crap. Wait, now, is Lice, um, Mage down? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's been down for a bit. Oh yeah, that's right. He's just dragging his face through the lava at this point. So we're probably going to see the fighter go through and solo everything. No, the ninja's still up as well, and the ninja's whole swing in that katana plus five, which is a mm, beautiful weapon to see. Looks like Life Reboot's probably still checking for a saber bomb, which I don't hate that.
especially Ooh, since he was only checking the uh, greed chests, or mostly just greed chests. Yeah. Hey, Saberbonk on Sky 3 in CC's Gambit. Holy crap, Terry just got absolutely bodied, and it's another thief. <laughs> well, that's an ablative meat shield for life reboot. I looked over and Terry was just gone. Yep. <laughs> I don't even know if he actually buffed up. <laughs> I don't think he did. Ooh, and a white shirt. All right, so... Zeus. Yeah, Zeus Gauntlet's less important than that white shirt, though. And, uh, I'll give you that one. So, yeah, Sky 3 providing, as Sky 3 often does. That'll be very interesting to see where Life Reboot goes after this. Well, the world's his oyster. Though I'd be shocked if he goes to Onrak, because really, why go back to the Onrak continent? You've got what you needed out of there. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sky is just a quicker dungeon to get through as well, well compared to uh, compared to C. And then you also don't have to do the big walk to get to the to get to the dungeon even. I guess he's picking up something. Uh, it's just the frog. It's one of those people that goes to the left or right. I go whatever direction I feel like going. All right, those do see a robot chicken. <laughs> oh. uh, and we've got a red mage. <clears throat> We'll see the red mage picked up, but uh, if we do, the red mage's blursings are free temper, uh, hurt dragons, no fade. Those aren't bad blursings, except for that whole no fade thing. All right, and yeah. Smithy McBeard Smith takes that adamant and turns it into a fairy in a bottle. <laughs> All right, man, I don't even know what he's forging at that point. There's the key. Yeah, we got the key. So that means the bottle. Well, we've got the bottle and the castle, so one of them's still going to turn yeah. into the loot. The other one's the ribbon. Sun plus one. Yeah, Life Reboot doesn't need that, though. Well, he did pick up that second thief. But, you know, gives... Oh, no, no, never mind. I saw the second level 29. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, no. Uh, it was just because I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Didn't notice that he had moved the Ablative Meat Shield Thief down to slot 4. Alright, Jesus looking like he's going out for the um, trip through the waterfall. Yeah, pick up his adamant. And Life Reboot, looks like he's just going to go stomp through Lich. Ooh. It's easy, it's... A little bit of a longer walk than some of the others, but at least the enemies aren't as nasty. They can be a bit more annoying, but it's not as bad. I mean, that's true, but he's got a lot of his offensive stuff figured out, but he's still missing a couple pieces of equipment. Yeah, like that white shirt and that power bonk would do it great by him, but... Exactly. You know, he's got a ruse stick and a katana plus five on a ninja who can cast fast on himself and who can cast temper on himself. Now, do you think he's going to go get spells for that second ninja, or do you think he's just going to keep him as a meat shield? I think that ninja is there to take a punch. I mean, it starts at level one, so yeah, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to be around to stand up. And Jesus finds the wrong eye as well. Goes for the adamant and gets a chest. Yeah, stupid robot moves out of the way just when you don't want him to. <laughs> Oop, there's the opal plus five. Yeah, it's just an opal, or opal, uh, opal shield. Shield, yeah. Which, in Life Reboot's case, yeah, that'd be good, but, uh... Jesus already has the Ageless plus five. Right. 
Tim Deadpool's pointing out in chat that in some of his practice runs, he's gone into Topher with entire parties combined that have less hit points than that single fighter. <laughs> See, all I'm hearing in my head is Fizzle yelling at me, you know, you just can't walk in a Topher with a plucky attitude and a coral sword. Sure you can. <laughs> you just can't walk through Topher with that. <laughs> uh, I learned that the hard way. Yeah. Well, okay, you can start the walkthrough, you just won't finish it. <laughs> All right, so where are we going to guess the loot is? Do you want to say bottle or you want to say castle? Whichever one life reboot it second. I'm taking the cop out. Uh, and Jesus the Frog, being a good man and killing the Rage Warp, sparing it from its life of suffering. Mm. And Earth Cave showing why Earth Cave is not great. Ace is checking out the Dwarven Horde. Yeah, I don't recall there being anything too much of note in here except for that Sun Sword. And yeah, I think that was about it. All right, time to raffle. Uh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Time to raffle stomp Lich. Four hits, nine sixteen. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> uh, uh, was that two thousand? <laughs> no, it was three hits, two hundred and seven damage out of okay. the uh, low level ninja. Which you know, that's not bad at all. Respectable damage, honestly. But with that, life reboot is almost in go mode. Jesus is going to find a house. <laughs> cash, cash, and, and the, the loot. loot. All right. So it looks like the fairy has the hair piece. Now let's Which... see if either of them care about that. You know, that minus M def on that fighter or, or that knight is a little bit spooky. I I would personally probably go grab the ribbon. I'm also yeah. not as good at the racer as life reboot. So, <laughs> you know, once again, take my advice with a grain of salt or a whole bucket of it. You know, the interesting thing is, is they're both in go mode, but neither of them have even looked at going to Topher. I think Life Reboot's just picking up spells before he does. Jesus is looking to pick up some levels, uh, whereas Life Reboot took the levels on his melee classes off of the dragons in Volcano. Yeah. Jesus, you know, Jesus still needs to go and do a second dungeon. It looks like Life Reboot actually did decide to pick up that Harm 4 as well, just in case. <laughs> now, the thing is, though, is I think party composition wise, Jesus has a better setup. I mean, he's got a recasters of temper already. Yeah, I, uh, I do agree with you on that. All right. Like, could he use the extra levels? Yeah, but I think he might be able to make a run for Topher and do all right. Well, he still has to get through Volcano as well, um, which I'm not sure how much looting he's Why does he have to get through Volcano? Because he hasn't got the second orb lit. Oh, he does. Yeah, I he am does. a derp. I forgot he got Tia. Yeah, he did Earth and Tia. He knocked those out. He literally was just looking for the loot at this point. I'm just going to go back to trying to link my elbow, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's not the paint. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's it's... Because I had too many wall candies, or too much wall candy as a child. Jesus making a turn for Matoyas and realizing that's not Topher. So it looks like Jesus is gonna be checking out the spike tile. In, uh, it's the other gargoyle tile. We. Moon Life Reboot runs oh. right in. Doesn't even bother to stop. But Jesus pulls the Excal out oh. of the lower right chest. Now, the Excal, great for everything up to chaos chaos you got to swap back to that portal because chaos has no elemental or type vulnerabilities 
so Excal does not work versus Chaos. And Ace is making his dive. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. Yeah. We have a race on our hands. Yeah, it's going to really come down to how the fights roll and if either of them gets knocked out at Topher. Kate seeing that giant Batman swarm. Oh, sleep that... death, Batman. Wonderful. Oh. Those used to be my bane. Oh, man. All right, he gets out of from round two. This is fine. Oh, oh, boy. Uh, that encounter table. All right, and we have speed bump mark two. And a fast on that ninja. Swing. 10 hit, 685, speed bump down. <laughs> Is about as expected, honestly. Yeah. Validation checks by Jesus, finding nothing of worth. I don't think I've ever found anything of worth in those chests, and I uh, still took them. A couple <laughs> of times I found, you know, useful things. All right, carry two actually surviving full round. Busting out some thunder, which is... Oh, down goes the red mage on Life Reboot's side. Now, he does still have the ninja who can do fast and temper, but that is... Kind of... A... Black mage. No, he's got his... He's got the ninja who can... Well, I see what you're going at now. Never mind. Once again, <laughs> like I'm going to go back to... Like... Went down. I'm like, he's got a red mage? I saw red. Brain went red. Yeah, I meant black mage. Yeah, it's fine. I was doing that earlier, thinking he had two ninjas, so... Man, the ace, this encounter table is not entirely too pleasant, especially with this stuff popping up on seashell, or on the sea floor. Yeah. And of course, as soon as I say that, that's when Life Reboot hits the giant run. And no life charges, correct. Uh, life was not within a place that it was learnable by that night. All right, life reboot, tossing the second ninja out there, going, hey, guess what? You gotta take a punch. Defense sword and ruse sticks coming out. Punch taken. Great, you did your job, 22222. <laughs> oh, nuke from that Kraken. It's not something bad to see, but... Oof, he's boy. surviving it, all right. Yeah, but if something else comes out, that's gonna be a real problem for that ninja. All right, out comes the thunder, and we see that, oh boy. Ooh, Jesus that. lost one of his black mages, too. Oh, oh boy. This is... This is gonna be a wipe for uh, life? Yeah, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a clencher. <laughs> three hits, 45 damage, oh yeah. Oh, 307. All right. Took him down. But do you push on? That is a 939 health freaking tank. It is. And he's but... got a ruse stick and a power bonk. No, Life Reboot doesn't have the power bonk. Oh, that's Jesus right. Has, Life is not. Yeah, so this is. Mm. Oh, yeah, he's gambling at this point. Yeah, this is risky because if Tia is evasive, that's going to be a problem. And uh... he doesn't have the X Cal either. Yeah. I mean, that would only help him for the next fight, but still. Yeah, this is... Oh, boy. Right, I mean, yeah. I, pulling up the Kraken. I do kind of agree with Guardian Marcus. You gotta push it. You gotta give it a try. I mean, right? I agree, but at the same time... Oh, three hits, 29 damage. Oh, boy. Hmm. Three hits, 28 damage. Five hits, 332. Oh, this is... I mean, thankfully enough, that, that knight has a bunch of hit points, but oh, he's not hitting that great. Comes it a nuclear. Like Jesus just flew through Kraken. Yeah. All right, but... 
Life Reboot is through Tier 2 <laughs> with his now max hit point knight. <laughs> and maybe I'll roll over. <laughs> oh no. Oh, and it looks like Jesus actually finished cracking off with the Quad X. Going for the style kill. I, I can dig it. Let's see how his tier 2 goes. We've got White Shirt, we've got new er, Ruse, and we have a nuclear from tier 1 Tia. Jesus. Okay. We have a fast going off now. Alright, Life Reboot pulling up to Chaos. Ooh, it's gonna be a close one. Yeah, alright. Bane from Chaos, giving him a free turn, thankfully. Two defenses, punch, swing and miss. Alright. Evade capped nuke coming out, 290 something damage. Another new oh my Ooh. goodness. Double nuke needs still standing though. Yep, five hits, 380. Lightning two coming out, doing some chip damage. Five hits, 155. Fire three, once again, more chip damage. Alright. Four Aces hits, just made 285. For Chaos swing and a miss. Four hits, 174. But Swirl coming out, two. taking that fighter the knee. Oh, oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves oh. a race. Oh boy. Life Reboot is real lucky that Chaos is doing a lot of small damage spells or, you know, status spells at this point, but it's... Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> I mean, I get oh, no. he's at the whole day in prey stage, but I'm clenching over here. Oh! oh. Tornadoed out. Now let's see if Jesus has any better luck, because... He is that... going in there with a bit of advantage. He has a second party member up. Yeah, but Nuclear doesn't care about a second party member. No, but it'll let him cast fast and possibly a uh, temper. Okay, that is a true point. That is a true point. Like if it was his other ninja, yeah, I'd be like, okay, all he's got his temper for the most part, but... Never mind, he did not get the fast off. Okay. I mean, he does have the Saber Bomb, and that is a definite boon. And the, the fighter, you know, can bruise himself, which is, once again, a boon. But yeesh. He's swinging that X-Cal. Four hits, 277. Oh, boy. Once again, we are down to a clench type of moment. Heal pot strats. <laughs> oh, God, I hope he doesn't run into that nuclear nuclear right after each other. Uh, well, it's nuclear swirl nuclear. Oof, yeah. At this point, it's, it's swing and hope. Hope that Chaos tries to punch and uh, doesn't go for the spell skills. Got more power bonks. Uh, you don't like seeing those spells and skills. Real lucky that Chaos was being punchy. And if you blink, yeah, you know, there was a Lich 2 on screen for a moment, then I blinked and it was gone. <laughs> Oh, this is getting close. Oh, one hit for 45 damage. I think the next spell coming up is new. Nope, or never mind. Two, and he got it. it. Oh. Get your GGs out in mm -hmm. chat for Jesus the Frog, finishing up with an official race time GG time of 55 minutes and 14 seconds. So GGs. Gonna go check and see if he wants to jump on in with us. That was a tight finish. That was. And, uh... We are joined at the booth by Jesus the Frog, so GG's, mate. 
That was uh, yeah, GG's. That was really well done. Yeah, that was a really tight finish. And uh, not sure if Jesus is actually at his headset right now because I just oh, dragged yeah. him. Oh, right, cool. There we go. Good, good, good. <laughs> Sorry, I put him back trouble there. I can't. Yep. I forgot to put my Vorpal back on my knight before chaos. Uh, you like, know what? Check everything. Swap the white shirt. Yep, we're all good. We're good. Go. Y First you know round. what? It's an Excal. Yeah, I mean, you still won. That's that's all that matters. Yeah. You, you took out chaos before he took you out. You yeah. walked into chaos the same moment that life walked out uh, died at his chaos, oh, and yeah. he was let down to his fighter. And we were like, he's got to be close. He's doing 400 damage with his sword, and then he died, and then you got there. And we were like, oh, how are yeah. you doing? Yeah, he, Life Reboot never picked up uh, the defense, or not the defense sword, but the saber the bomb. bomb. Yeah. And he was man moding after Kraken mangled. Yeah. Yeah, I managed. I made a mistake on carry. I should have quad X carry. I remember it to you for K Kraken to think, save my bacon. Yeah, you, you killed it. That's all that matters. Yeah. So, what was your strategy with orb choices? Because we noticed you went to Earth and went to Sky. And I know the Sky played off because you got quite a bit out of there, but what made you pick Earth? Uh, I was in the area. I was right there. <laughs> I wanted to check the tiles, and I often find something really good in the vampire chest. It's not really much longer than Volcano, so... It's a fair cop. I'm a, not a fan of doing Earth myself just because the chest density is really low and the encounters are just annoying in there. But yeah, I can well, I can understand your logic for it. I find in these flags, I don't usually open many chests. In fact, this is the first time I've opened any chests in Mirage at all. I usually just skip and go straight to Sky. Uh, I usually get just two chests at Earth. The two on Vampire 4. Um, this time I was really, really digging for the saber. Yeah, I I normally will hit up Sky if I can, just because Sky 3 provides. Sky yeah. does provide, as we saw this time. That's where I found the saber, I believe. Yeah, and the white shirt. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to find. All right, so um, <laughs> what was your plan with uh, Ice? You hopped in there. You got two of the chests, you fell in the hole, you ran around a bit, and then you left and went over to Crescent. <laughs> yeah, well, I my plan was hop in, go down, check the trap chest, warp, get all three chests, or rather the two I had, the one I hadn't got the incentive chest, and then warp out. I did all of that except check the incentive chest. When I realized that, <laughs> I realized I had this out of houses, out of warp charges, so I had to go to Crescent, buy houses, rest up, go back in, and do it again to get the crystal. That would explain it, then. Cost me like a minute yep. and a half. Yeah, we were wondering what happened there. Yeah, I just got too warp happy. I cast warp, and then rather than picking up a chest, just cast warp again. Whoops. Looks like Life Reboot is on his chaos again, but it is, once again, single fighter versus radioactive, swirly, windy chaos. Oh, oh yeah. Looks like he went ahead and said, nope, I'm going to try this again. Yeah, well, Chaos said, nope, you've got to try this again. <laughs> so I see Life Fruits Fighters got near max health. What level did he take it to? Uh, 30-ish? Yeah, he found the uh, D-Dragons, and yeah. he farmed those for a while, almost to a max level. Yeah, he, so. he farmed the Zombie Ds up to level 29 on his Ninja and his Knight. Yeah, I considered oh, yeah, doing a grind, D but by the time, I never found a really good one. And I had a level 22 knight, and I'm like, I've got Saber Bunk, I've got White Shirt, he can self-ruse, I'll just speed and power through Chaos, save Ruse for Chaos. Good enough. Yeah. Well, yeah. he didn't go through um, Sky, so he's definitely missing the Power Bunk. He's got to feel good though. By... Th what, three Temper Casters? Um, yeah. 222 is too low level. Ah, uh, okay. He picked up that ninjas and a blade of meat shield. But he also didn't get the Excal right at the beginning either. Always check tooth locks. He also, but he did get a katana plus five out of volcano armor. Oh, nice. Yes. 
Yeah. That was a... Yeah. Unfortunately, the minus vitality on the thief <laughs> is... Yeah. So he did see and volcano. Uh, what was the other recruit? Oh, no, he didn't do sea. He did earth and volcano. The earth and volcano, okay. Yeah. yeah. He took the easy way out. <laughs> But, I mean, it paid off for him. He got to Topher first, so. It is My free boot taking the scenery, or the uh, scenic path and going down to visit the, uh, going down to visit the Topher park there for a moment. You gotta throw birds to the, uh, squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> throw bread to the squirrels. Uh, I don't know, I like the idea of throwing birds to the squirrels as well. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with those cockatrices and such, because those were super bad jerk birds. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Jesus, what are your thoughts on these flags so far, though? Uh, personally, I really hate them. I find it really, really high variance, uh, and it's... It just always feels bad to me. I always feel like I do the wrong, the wrong call. Is it just because of how fast they are and like the open options or what? It's mostly the two orbs. Because I feel like most of the time, because I'm going to need probably a Sarah Bunk, probably some defense item, because the scaling can be high enough you need to have those. It's not a short prefer. That the two orbs make you really fast is kind of a trap. You actually need to basically full clear the game anyway. But if someone happens to get a path that takes them where they need to go, then they can skip half the game. Uh, so then it comes down to me, it feels more like luck of good routing than anything else. Now, it's not 100% true, because I see some people are very consistently posting high times, so there is some skill you can apply. But for me, it always feels like hope I guess right. Okay. Trust me, I can understand that. I mean, 90% of the time, I'm hoping I guessed right. Yeah, I'm generally going through opening chests looking for that Saber Bonk as well, just because Saber Bonk, oh, so much safety in the Saber Bonk. Yeah, although this is only the fifth seed I've ever had of these bikes where I got a Saber Bonk. I think I've done 27, 28 seeds, five, I found a Saber Bonk. Yeah, so it's, it sounds about the same same frequency I've had, which is bad. <laughs> yeah, well, I think part of that is I tend to not hit sea and sky in these flags. I tend to hit Earth Volcano. And I think that's basically why. Uh, I've only found Sierra Bonk, uh twice outside of sea and sky. Well, with these, uh, this, these flag sets and the seed and everything else, I mean, it's worth preparing to go to at least either, you know, sea or sky because it's a better test volume and, I mean, it's a better walking grind. Yeah, I've come around to really oh. liking the walk-through sky grind. Yeah. Especially mm. if I haven't already identified really, really eye tile or red D or uh, metal slimes or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and just as a, you know, given that between Mirage and Sky, there are literally 20% of the chests in the game. So, yeah, I think that's one of the reasons that I really like Dive in Sky. Plus, you can go in in mid teens, come out in mid 20s, and that's oh, high yeah. enough. Yeah. I was 22, I went to Tofer. Yep. Ooh. And as Pudge Mono was pointing out, good news! You're gonna put at least one of them in brackets, because brackets moves up to a three orbs. Yeah, I suspect I like that a bit better. I'm not sure I'll be any better at it, but I like it better. It's a fair cop. I I that... fully personally expect to go zero and three in pods, but that's just me. Yeah, that's what I figured would happen. I was yeah. to lose all three races. I have to at least win one. That's it. Just one. It can be against myself, but I at least <laughs> want to win it once. <laughs> Looks like life is getting back to the tier 2 fight here. Yep, they'll be pulling up to that real, real fast. He's got two members alive this time. 
Now, can he keep his ninja alive through Tiamat? That's the big question, because Tiamat has been playing unkind games with his ninja. He has ruse and defense? Yeah, uh, I believe the defense sword was in the six pack in ice. You know, I skipped this time, the leash ticket, just it's never had it. A good item in any of the seeds that ever played these flags. Mm. Looks like Tia 2 is playing a bit nicer this time. Let him get some of the defense stacks up, or the roof stacks up. Though he's not hitting that great. Yeah, that is true. Oh, oh that no, was for 414. Yeah, of course, I, yeah, I say that, and then Ninja goes and goes for for the yeah. crits there. And there we go. Alright. Life reboot finally making it to chaos with two whole party members alive. <laughs> A maxed out HP fighter. God, that is just... Just oh. so disturbing. Holy crap. Moving the ninja down to slot three so he can hope for a crit loop on that. Alright. Temper and Ruse. Alright, that makes sense. Defense and Temper? Yeah. Bane coming out leaves the ninja alive this time. Alright, fighter is evade capped. Ninja survives a nuke. No second ribbon for life reboot? I uh, know. You both only found the incentivized ribbon. Yep. All right, four hits, 805. Much better looking than previously. Oh, yeah. Five hits, 1211. Yeah, okay, I think Life Reboot's getting through this time. <laughs> I don't know. That uh, ninja looks like he might fall over any minute now. Five hits, 1120. And yeah, get your GG's out in chat for Life Reboot. Finishing up with an official race time. GG time of... One hour, eight minutes, and 16 seconds. So, gee, gee, geez. Let's see if uh, Life Reboot wants to jump in as well. So, who else do you got to face in your pod? Uh, Jesus? I've got Isle and Clementinus. All right. Right, and we are joined to the booth by Life Reboot as well. GG's. GG, Life. Thank you. GG, Jesus. GG. You know, um, nine out of ten times I think I win that fight, but uh, I just saw every script imaginable. That was very disappointing. Yeah, Chaos was not a kind boss this match. Negative. All I wanted him to do was punch. Nu <laughs> nuclear. Swirl, tornado is is, is insane. Yeah. I got Your early first Joker dive. I need to punch yeah. Him forever. Yeah. You yeah. want to go in there and you got to uh, chaos before uh, Jesus. You were doing great and we were just watching the hits come in and we're like, thank God he's got that max life freaking fighter. And then they would just like, he's got to be almost dead. And then he died and we we're like, no. Yeah, yeah, and actually, yeah, Jesus, uh, if you were, like, if you had been just a little luck, you're a little less lucky, I think the next spell that Chaos had queued up was new. So I seem to recall another nuke coming out of that, bane, or after that bane, but yeah, it was, yeah. But yeah, so, well, that's your first match done, Life Reboot, uh... What's your thoughts on the flag set? These flag sets are definitely very swingy. Um, it can go to anyone at any time. Um, and I, I do sort of like that we're just sort of tossing uh, all the coins in the air and see like who can catch the most. <laughs> like, that's, that's what uh, it feels like with the arrangement of uh, the pods this year, as well as uh, the flags, at least uh, as we started up. Um, as we get more orbs, it might change, but uh, for now, they're just fun and fast, and I don't, I don't mind them at all. Bit popcorny. 
think it's fine for pods, yeah. But it, there's a lot of variance. My full clear. Did you do the same, Jesus? Uh, not quite. I mean, I went everywhere other than uh, C. Yeah, I think actually you both had. All, yeah, you oh. both have picked up all the key items. And volcano. Yeah, I got. All oh wait, no, no. I'm sorry, Jesus. You reset out of the canal. That was that is true. Yeah. That's the only thing. I went to Marsh. I was like, Blaze, Wiz Mummies. It's not worth it. This is. It has to be the canal, I think. So forget it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, life reboot. Uh, one thing that Jesus had that was a giant boon for him. On Sky Three, there was both a white shirt and the top chest and the four pack up top, and a saber bonk in the, I believe that was in the greed chests. Mm-hmm. Very well, cool. That, that was in the better check chest. Four pack top right. Oh, saber bonk was the fork top. Okay, I had it backwards then. No, they both were. Yeah, if you find it, it's great, but uh, it's never guaranteed. I, I still think with a Vorpal plus four, a Katana plus five, you know, I, I did decide, yeah, I'm getting that ribbon. It was the last check. And then um, with, you know, two temper casters, and, you know, if they could just survive. <laughs> so uh, now, I, I, I just hit some bad luck in Topher. It happens. There was one thing you missed. And the Topher lock chest was the Excalibur. Yeah, though it did roll neutral. Pulse, yeah. But it was, it still did some good work against all of the fiends. I see. Against Chaos, because I've got to change back to full <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> now, I asked Jesus this, like, what was uh, your dungeon choices and why? So, I was really thinking, like, do I want to... Uh, do C while I'm up there. That's where the TNT was for sale. And of course, my warp uh, caster died in Waterfall, so that was super annoying. Uh, but because my warp caster died, I thought, no, let's leave and grind now. So let's do Volcano. And then I just did the easy one. So after the grind, everything in Earth is going to run away from me. So I think that I could get through that fast. And Earth is going to be an unlikely choice, so I decided, well, let's take a, a look inside the uh, treasure rooms. And it didn't pay off. Nothing was there. But, you know, I was like, no one else is going to check this. So. All right. But I will say you did find a very good grind because we were not expecting to see a max HP fighter. Yeah, all the good it did. <laughs> <laughs> he was close. I think if you would have had one more turn, you would have killed him. I I don't know how close I was, but uh, it it was shocking how I was, instead of finding the crit loop, I was finding the skill loop. (laughs) (laughs) Didn't find the crit loop, found the doom loop. Well, um, I wish uh, Jesus the best of luck with the rest of your matches. Thanks for setting this up today. Yes, thank you. And uh, Life Reboot, who else do you have to face out of your book? Clementitas and Chanigan. And I think that I've never faced um, Clementitas before on a one-on-one, so I'm excited about that. Uh, Chanigan uh, is... We're 50-50, I'd say. We've we've, uh, come up against one another before, and uh, I'm looking forward to that match as well. Should be some good matches. Uh, well, I have no further questions. Uh, Forsaken, you got anything else? Uh, no. Um, anything from uh, either of our runners? No. Don't nope. have a great night. Enjoy the rest of the tournament. All right. Well, uh, if you enjoyed what you saw here tonight, um, coming up in about 90 minutes, there is going to be another one, another match coming up on RPG Limit Break. This one is going to be Pod C, the Pennywise Pod, Budge Mono versus Sin Pyro. So you know, tune into that, catch some more, uh, catch some more race action. I believe it's Sin underscore. <laughs> yeah, Sin underscore Pyro, but you know, Sin Pyro. I'm, I'm not going to do the TTS thing. 
Uh, additionally, if you like what you saw here and you're not already, uh, you can jump on in, join us at the dis or join us on the Discord. Find a whole bunch of people there willing to help you learn the game, willing to race against you. We got pop-up races all bloody day. Um, just, you know, one-offs, nothing too serious, just some fun races. And uh, yeah, we after the uh, spring tournament, winter tournament, winter tournament is done, then we'll <laughs> be moving on to the Duckling Boot Camp, uh, which is our new player program. That'll be starting up sometime around March or April, so there's still time, but I would still jump on in and join us. Yeah, never hurts to get a head start. So with that, I have been 8 to 13, joined in the booth by Forsaken with Dark Moon EX doing the restream for us and Wildham pushing the buttons in the back and keeping us on us. You mean hot eye. Hot eye eye eye. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, TTS. I mean, honestly, it's, it's I've heard worse pronunciations. Uh, but with that, thank you all and have a good evening, folks. <laughs>